Welcome back, guys. Uh, I have a special surprise for you. Um, I'm sure you remember my last video, my unboxing video of my last backgammon set. Well, uh, at the thrift store, I was able to find this uh, for $2.50, and I thought that you guys would really love to see um, what you could get for a couple bucks at the thrift store if you just kind of pay attention. So wanted to give you just kind of a look on, on what this is and how how it looks and kind of what, what came with it. So let's uh, let's open her up. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. So uh, the hinges are kind of worn away, but you can notice that they are spring. They are spring hinges, so very nice. They lock right up and that's great. Uh, this this cover is actually I think this actually is leather versus my other my other set um, do you remember still a great deal but um, I think in its prime this set was probably a little bit more expensive um, I mean it's this is some sort of like not foam there's it's leather it's the stitching is very tight the handle is pretty solid chunk of leather as well. There are some dings. Um, it's uh, That's from a tag, but it's it's seen better days for sure. It's an old set, but two dollars. Here we go. Okay, so let's see the best angle for you guys here. There we go. That's what we're used to seeing. Let's start over here. So I did look at this already. Now this doubling cube is um, a little bit bigger than than my other cube, tiny bit. The only thing I didn't like was that there's just a little bit of um, that 32. I just don't like the way that two looks. Kind of OCD about that kind of stuff. Here, let me see if I can get the other one. So here's the. Uh, Here's my other one. So that's this one's a sans serif font, kind of like Helvetica or something. This one's a serif, maybe Georgia or Times New Roman or something like that. Probably Times. Well, it's a little bit more condensed. Anyways, um, size-wise, you could see just a tiny, tiny bit bigger. So if you want that premium, big, big dice feel, I might be going for this bad boy, but. Um, for now, I'm kind of keeping with this little smaller rounded one. Now these uh, these cups, these rollers, they have seen better days. You can see this falling apart from the inside, falling apart from the back. What the heck? What am I paying? What am I paying two dollars and fifty cents for? This one's a little bit better, but still not too impressed. Was that? Put those over here. We'll take a look at the dice. These dice are square um, versus the other dice I have. It's always nice to have some new dice, and these dice are also a little bit bigger than my dice. I think I'm going to stick with the. It's gone. Uh, stick with the bigger dice. Uh, I mean the smaller dice because they're just a little bit smoother and, and cleaner and not quite as faded. Now the cool part about this set is actually I think it's an inch bigger than the other set that uh, that I just bought. And I'm not sure if that's kind of what steps you up to the next level of wanting to use these bigger pieces. Um, but these pieces are actually a lot nicer than, not a lot, but they're definitely nicer than the other pieces from my other set. Um, they're bigger, they've got that nice groove on there, and, and just gives you something to hold on to, you know, when you're doing something like that. Boom, you know. Oops, I want to leave that block there. Anyway, so, uh, I actually put, I, when I got this set, I was wondering if, hmm, I wonder if these pieces might fit with my other set. And they actually do. 
It came with um, all the pieces, and and they fit with my other set. I can pull it up here. Oh, it's gonna be kind of a mess, but you can see. Oh, those rollers! Get out of the way. You can see they actually fit right in there. Look at that. What the heck? It's like they knew. They knew I was getting this uh, set for, for a couple bucks at the Goodwill. Goodwill is not paying me for this video. Um, the white ones, they're a little bit more faded. You know how this material, I don't, I really don't know what this material is called, but um, some kind of plastic, but it soaks up whatever sun or oil or something like that over time so you can see it's a little more faded but I don't know I think for the bigger pieces I'm willing to like live with that that's fine as for the board itself um, the stitching is actually really tight here it's super tight that's the closest I, I've seen so when you're sliding your pieces around you're not getting caught here at all whereas on my other board there's a little bit of a raised edge here and you'll just kind of get caught a little bit so Stitching's way better, but there's just there's some there's some damage, some wear. Look at that! What the heck? I mean, what the heck? Same here. I'm not playing on this thing. Anyways, pretty nice set for a couple bucks. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna use the pieces. Uh, these pieces at least, and and maybe the doubling cube. So even even that might make it worth it. So um, maybe the kids will use the board, you know, and I'll have my other nicer one. So that's that. That's my kind of overview of this old. I didn't even check the brand. I don't think there is a brand. You know, maybe it was here or something at some point. You know, who knows? This old board. Um, but yeah. So that's, that's what a, a couple bucks gets you if you're paying attention. Thanks. See you guys later.